One man, one mission. To rid the world of chronic anxiety once and for all. The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek, shares his personal transformation from living a life filled with overwhelming worry to becoming a full-fledged positivity machine. A leading authority in generalized anxiety, Dennis gets to the truth of your mental health challenges and sets you on a path to transforming each and every area of your life. Here he is, the one and only, The Anxiety Guy. Warrior, welcome to episode 190 of The Anxiety Guy podcast. I'm your host today, Dennis Simsek. Today, I've got a very intriguing and important podcast episode for you. Stay tuned. I'm excited for this episode because I get to open up your eyes to some of the invisible things that may be causing you emotional distress. Before I get into this powerful podcast episode, understand that this episode is brought to you by the Life Mastery Program at anxietyexit.com. Are you ready to take control of every aspect of your life? Begin the Life Mastery Program today. Warriors, we are discussing Wi-Fi and anxiety. When we think about Wi-Fi, we think about all the benefits there are. We think about how we can communicate with people across the world, how we have information at our fingertips anytime we want, but... Do we ever stop to think about how the invisible, how these frequencies, how these energies and vibrations may be affecting us and not in a positive manner, only adding to our emotional distress? The debate over Wi-Fi and anxiety and other mental health challenges is underway. It's important. It's such an important topic, and I want to shed some light today. Warriors, it's hard to believe that something we don't necessarily think of or even notice throughout our day could be the reason for our anxiety. Let me be the first one to tell you this. The results are in, and honestly, they don't look good when it comes to Wi-Fi and the connection to your emotional distress. Let's take, for example, what the American Academy of Environmental Medicine had to say about the connection between Wi-Fi and anxiety and the effects it truly has upon us. They say, adverse health effects from wireless radio frequency fields, such as learning disabilities, altered immune responses, and headaches clearly exist, and they are well documented in the scientific literature. But before we can actually dig a little deeper into the connection between Wi-Fi and anxiety, let's first understand what Wi-Fi is. Wi-Fi connects electronic devices to wireless computer networks using electromagnetic radiation. Wi-Fi is installed in homes, schools, offices, stores, hotels, coffee shops, airports, libraries, hospitals, everywhere, and even entire sections of cities. Recently, I was in Barcelona, and they had a citywide hashtag Wi-Fi access. Wi-Fi signals are unlike TV and radio signals. They are strong enough to penetrate concrete walls. Think of what it may be doing to your mind and body, let alone your own children. It's clear now that many health experts consider Wi-Fi radiation to be extremely dangerous. It is now estimated that 3 to 5% of the growing population is electromagnetically hypersensitive. Yes, electromagnetically hypersensitive. And of course, the governments think it's safe. And honestly, who trusts those guys anymore anyway? The dangers to a human's health due to Wi-Fi radiation has been commonly dismissed due to the fact 
that it is actually incredibly convenient. But scientific studies tell us that when exposed for a set period of time to low level electromagnetic radiation, It can, in fact, cause many different health problems due to the fact that it disturbs the body's own natural energy field. Do you want to know what it can cause? Here's what it can cause a weakened immune system, headaches, depression, anxiety, memory loss, dizziness, nausea. Ringing in the ears, abnormal heart rates, and that is just a few of the symptoms. Notice how many of these symptoms mimic what we perceive within us to be symptoms of anxiety, when in fact they are just symptoms of Wi Fi. So I've always been interested in how life's constant improvements in nutritional science, exercising, and of course, technology affects our minds and bodies in the short and long term. But, Warriors, I truly believe deep down, after putting in the time to research this subject, that a connection between our negative feelings we have has something to do with the forces that we can't see through our eyes. Now, This is important. There are three things that you can start doing today to protect yourself from Wi Fi radiation without eliminating it completely. Because I know there's a lot of people out there going, Well, I can't escape Wi Fi. It's everywhere, Dennis. So can you please tell me something practical? Well, let's go there. Number one is switch off your Wi Fi at night. Studies say, That the greatest danger with radiation from Wi Fi comes from nighttime exposure. So it's a good idea to turn it off when you're sleeping. Number two, keep a very safe distance from your Wi Fi modem. Make sure that you keep the maximum amount of distance you possibly can between you and your wireless router. This is important. Because Wi Fi radiation slows way down the farther you are away from the modem. And number three, switch up your wireless for wired connections. Replace your wireless mouse, your wireless keyboard, your printer, and anything else you have that is wireless with wired versions with USB connections. Okay, so those are three things that you can do today to beat the symptoms that you are experiencing due to the electromagnetic fields going on around you connected to Wi Fi. Warriors, we need to take into consideration what we can't see that may be affecting our emotional distress levels and our anxiety. Just because you can't see it, just because it is invisible, doesn't mean it's not affecting you. So, what we have to do is become more aware of the unseen. All right? I urge you to take these steps today, these three crucial steps, to lessen the distress that you may be experiencing due to the Wi Fi connection around you. Take it seriously. And remember that I love you. And you are more than anxiety. I couldn't be more grateful to have you as a listener. If you're enjoying this podcast episode, please give it a positive rate and review. And if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, The Anxiety Guy, it's time. Head on over. Start your journey with me week by week through those powerful videos, Warrior. See you in the next episode. Thanks for being an important part of the Anxiety Guy podcast community. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a positive rate and review. If you're searching for further support on your road to recovery from anxiety, head over to anxietyexit.com and take part in the powerful End the Anxiety program based around the CBT model. If you're searching for a more one on one approach, you can sign up now for personal coaching sessions with Dennis via Skype. Remember, you are more than anxiety. See you in the next episode.